that I'm just like inferior. I almost lost it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going on a trip. We are heading down this evening to Southern Utah to take some photos in the desert tomorrow. Um, I know it's a mess in here. I'm going to clean it before I leave, but I'm in the middle of laying out and packing up all of my camera gear. So I thought this was the perfect time to bring you all in and uh, show you what I'm taking with me. All right, so this is everything coming with me. I got it all laid out here on the bed. Again, excuse the mess I'm going to clean before I leave. But yeah, it looks like a lot, but a lot of it is just like little itty bitty stuff like SD cards and SSDs. But yeah, let's go through it super quick. I'll show you what I'm bringing. Um, first up over here on the left is my MacBook Pro. Then we have some uh, Nisi Black Promise filters and some step up rings in that little bag there. Uh, that is a, what is this? <laughs> I don't even remember what this one is. Oh, it's a circular polarizer. That's my polarizer. Then under that are my ND filters. Uh, moving on, I have a camera strap, some extra batteries here. I got SD cards. I got my wrist strap. This is my preferred uh, kind of strap for my camera. I don't like the neck strap. I'm bringing it as like a secondary, but usually I just use the wrist strap. At the top, we have my Mini 3 Pro, some extra batteries and the controller there. Um, I haven't shot with the drone really. I actually just got it back. It's been broken for like like six, seven months, the drone. Uh, I crashed it and then just never had the time to fix it, but I got it fixed for this trip, so I'm excited to take it out and hopefully uh, not crash it. Um, then we have my tripod there. This is the two times teleconverter for my 70 to 200. We're gonna try and do some landscape stuff out there, so I'm bringing that. Um, I have the 50 mil f1.2 I just picked up. I'm not bringing the 35 for this trip. You guys know I love 35, but I'm gonna push myself to keep the lenses light and really kind of use the 50 and see how it does. The main photography camera is gonna be the Sony a7R5 here. Um, moving on, I have my CF Express slash SD card reader here, the Sony one. Um, then I have two SSDs, um, a, a microfiber cloth, and a multi-tool, some lens cleaning stuff and sensor cleaning. And then way in the back, I have my uh, DJI Action 2, and then uh, some ND filters for the drone. And the video combo we are taking with us is the Sony FX3, paired with the 16 to 28 f2.8 from Sigma, and then the microphone is gonna be the Sony B1M. It's been my favorite microphone right now. It's just really easy to use. But yeah, that's all of the gear. I am gonna get this packed up into my bag right now, and then I'll catch you in a second. And there it is. Everything is packed into the bag. The bag I'm using is the Peter McKinnon uh, Nomadic uh, camera bag. This is the larger 30 liter one, I believe. Everything is packed in here uh, super snug and it weighs a ton. Originally, I actually wasn't gonna go with the 30 liter. I was going to try and use the uh, the smaller one that I also have, which is like, what is it, like the 20 liter? But I am terrible at, at uh, <laughs> minimizing my gear, so. This is what we're taking, so we need the bigger bag. But yeah, this is where the FX3 will go. <laughs> this lens zooms the other way compared to my other Oh, lens. really? <laughs> yeah. Come with us. I wish. Come with us. Nah. This guy's a I got, jerk. I got like three cars tomorrow. <laughs> I've been trying to convince this guy to come with us for like days, but he's, he's, he's lame. He's come tomorrow. We'll see. Come surprise me. <laughs> I'll buy you dinner. I would be I'll, there I'll, at I'll like midnight. I'll surprise you. I'll stick him in the little book compartment <laughs> in, the tr in the trunk. <laughs> we'll force him to come. <laughs> this guy's going. That one. He's going. This bag is so heavy. I'm carrying it with one shoulder. <laughs> I have the same hand that you're having. The yeah, no, it's good. It's going to be good. Are we wide or close? I can't even tell anymore. I don't know Just hop in. There's room. We'll pop up the, the seventh seat. This is the rental. Uh, yeah, it's a Jeep. <laughs> it's pretty nice. I didn't think the we're taking like Should what five the Mandalorian? Sure <laughs> We haven't finished it yet. We started. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, we're taking like five people with us So I don't think they were all gonna fit in my little Subaru here So we rented the Jeep and then it's pretty nice like Look at all these Can you even see? Look at all these 
USB ports. It's like four USB ports and wireless, uh, wireless CarPlay. It's got wireless CarPlay. That's pretty cool. Uh, back seat here. But yeah, uh, pretty nice. We'll probably get some B-roll of the Jeep while we're out uh, down south. Oh, this is too bright. Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay. We'll probably get some B-roll of the Jeep while we are down south. Uh, we're going to go find a road. Uh, Johnny Romes, shout out Johnny <laughs> Romes, sent me a cool one to uh, go check out that's good for droning. So yeah, we'll hopefully take the Jeep out over there uh, tomorrow. But yeah, I think we are almost ready to go. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> All right, check out. He's vacuuming, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to deal with it. But check this out. I got all the bags stacked up like this, but since my bag opens from the side here, this is where I'll store the FX3 uh, when I'm not using it. So then I don't have to open the whole bag and take all this down to get it out while we're driving. I can just pull it out right from the side. I think that's pretty sick. Hey, bud. All right, we are about a halfway through the trip. It is midnight. We just made it to Beaver. We're at the rest stop. I'm gonna grab some candy or a soda because I'm super tired from uh, driving. You can't uh, rock out to 2000s music forever. But uh, but yeah, we're about halfway there, sitting in the gas station, and yeah, I'm gonna grab some snacks. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. See, I'm between these sour watermelon bites at Johnny. Johnny, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> Never had an energy drink. I know. Should I try one? I said, Johnny, where you at? Should I try one? Johnny's, now that he knows I've never had one, he's going to send me a box. Face pop, even better. <laughs> <laughs> or are we doing the uh, Sour Patch strawberries? What else do they have? There's too many choices. How does anyone decide anything in this life? We got monthly issue left. I don't know what to get. I think I'm gonna go with the strawberries. If you've never had the strawberries, I recommend the strawberries. I'm gonna do those. Should I should I match it with the sour patch ghost? Yo, the sour patch one's too much, dude. For me, at least I. I <laughs> I've done the Sour Patch. That was my first ever one, and I was like, holy crap. Should I match it? I've never had a ghost. Nah, I'm gonna get a Gatorade. Nah, be good. Cool blue. I don't That's know. That's an herbal tea. They know more. Yeah. Look, I won't take a ghost, but I'll get sponsored by Hidden Valley. Yeah. There we go. I think we should just, we should all get I Heart Beaver shirts and just do the photo shoot in I, in I, in I Heart Beaver shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. No, but I don't feel Why are they bad? You don't like <laughs> All right, so we just made it down to the Horseshoe Bend. We are about two hours early for sunrise. So we're pulling up at, I don't know if you can see, Denny's. <laughs> it's the only thing open. We've been sitting in the car for hours, so I thought it'd be nice to have someplace else to sit. Maybe get some pancakes before going and shooting uh, Sunrise at the Horseshoe Bend. I've never shot at Sunrise. I've never shot here before. I know this is a super popular place to uh, shoot photos, but um, I'm going to try and give it my own spin and see how it goes. I don't usually like to go shoot somewhere that I've never shot without having to be able to scope it out beforehand but it is what it is we're gonna do our best so yeah we're gonna do sunrise in about two hours but for now we're gonna go hang out at the Denny's yeah let's, let's get it maybe some pancakes or something I don't know I've been in the car for like six hours <laughs> Alright, 
we just finished up at Denny's and as you can see the sun is starting to come up we're gonna head to the entrance and see if it's open yet to get into the bend so let's go check it out all right we have made it in you can see the sun is coming up we have a little bit of a hike into the bend now but yeah we are we're here we're gonna make it happen hopefully get some good photos i'm actually pretty excited now that the sun's coming up and things are starting to come alive a little bit i'm excited to uh see what we get this will be fun i look terrible i've been up for like 48 hours but it is what it is all right we are starting the hike in right now um, I'm hiking in first just to see if I can get some landscape shots uh, as the sun's coming up and then we'll shoot some portraits and stuff after. <laughs> I'm already wondering, this bag weighs like 50 pounds. I overpacked for this, but I'm actually pretty pumped that we got some clouds in the background and stuff. Um, I think that'll look really nice. But yeah, everything just looks awesome out here. Here, let me show you. It's like... Whoop, too bright. There you go. It just looks fantastic. Super excited. See, it's like, it's always the same, I feel like. Um, excuse, again, how rough I look, but it's like one of those things, like I'm driving the six hours, you know, super stressed, you know, planning the trip and, and coming down. And, you know, you get to a point where it's like, it's dark, like you're sitting in a Denny's and you're like, was this really worth all the trouble, you know, to come out here? Was it worth the trip? But then it's like once the sun comes up and you see the landscape in front of you and like you see how everything looks, you're just like, oh, I just get so pumped. And like all of that stress and anxiety like just fades away. I struggle a lot with like pre-shoot anxiety. So I don't know, just like that moment where it's like you see everything and you start to see that, that vision and like the reason you wanted to come here in the first place. It's just like such a good feeling. Like. I went from being like, oh, should I have come today to like, I'm pumped. I'm super excited to be here and I'm really excited to get some shots. So yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see on camera here, but you can see all the photographers are, are gathering already <laughs> down by the, by the bend and you can kind of see your first glimpse of the top of it, but, but yeah. Let's go, uh, let's go. <laughs> I definitely struggle uh, when it comes to taking photos around other photographers. I definitely suffer from like major like imposter syndrome because I feel like, I don't know, I haven't been doing this as long as a lot of people, you know, maybe two, two and a half years. And I don't know, I don't feel like I belong sometimes. And I always have this feeling that like when I'm around other photographers that I'm just like inferior and that like I don't belong. But let's hope I can kind of like, get over that it's something i struggle with on every shoot whenever i'm around like a more popular area with lots of photographers but it's something i'm working on and you know that's kind of how this whole creative thing and just life in general is you just got to keep doing things that make you uncomfortable and keep getting after it. that's how you get better but yeah we're gonna we're gonna do our best Conditions have been pretty much perfect. Super overcast, great sunrise. Definitely worth the trip. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I don't like talking into the camera. Yo, yo, un video. I haven't slept. That's a good. That's a good thing. So don't touch my face. Aquí el teléfono ya casi la. All right, this is, oh, my mic's been recording in the wrong thing this whole time. I hope that's, that's okay. But yeah, this is the Horseshoe Bend. Uh, I gotta say, it's been a pretty, 
good morning. I've kind of, <laughs> you can probably hear, I've kind of chilled out. I've had some time to take some photos, got some ones I like, so I'm like, all right, trip was worth it. Super nice. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is just, I'd never been here before, and it just, you can't really describe what it looks like in person. It's, it's really cool. But yeah, it's been a great morning. I'm gonna keep shooting some photos and video. And yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. happened since last time we spoke. We finished up at the Horseshoe Bend right when the clouds parted and it got super sunny. So that worked out super good. It got pretty hot though here down in Southern Utah. So we decided to go swimming at Lake Powell for a little bit. And then now we are headed to Desert Nutrition to get some uh, frozen yogurt, Asahi bowl or something. But yeah, we're just hanging out. I think after this we might go fly the drone. Um, but yeah, let's go get some, let's go get some dessert. Oh, oh, too close. That was the wrong store. I don't know where they are. Let's see if we can find them. Found it. <laughs> So we are out here and we are testing out the Mini 3 Pro. This is actually really the first time I've gotten to fly it because like I mentioned before, I uh, crashed it like right when I first got it and it took me months to actually get around to getting it fixed. So we have it here. This is actually technically our third flight. I've already flown it up a little bit, um, but we tried to do a little car follow and we almost lost it. So we're just gonna fly it around, get some just cinematic stuff of just the scenery because it's pretty it's pretty crazy just right here pulled off the side of the road so yeah let's see what we can get as I fall off that step <laughs> part while we still have a little bit of window light. Um, I did bring this tube light from Loom Cube in case I want to film things when it gets a little darker. But since I got the window light, I thought I'd just film this right now. Um, I'm started going through some of the shots I got this morning at Horseshoe Bend. You probably would have seen them already. If not, they'd probably get put up here now. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just kind of give you my thoughts on some of them. I really like how a lot of the images turned out. Um, but yeah, um, I took three lenses, if you remember, on this trip. I took the 16-28 from Sigma, the 51-2, and the 70-200 uh, with the four time, or the two times teleconverter. Um, and this was a big one for me, because usually, if you know me, I shoot 35, and I left the 35 at home. And to be honest, I missed that 35 almost immediately when I got here. I went to start shooting um, portraits with the 50 and I immediately thought this is way too tight <laughs> for a place like Horseshoe Bend where you really want to get a lot of the, the scenery in the background because it is such like a beautiful place to photograph on its own that you really want to incorporate that environment into your portraits so yeah first thing I noticed with the kit that I brought is that I missed that 35 and being able to have a little bit of a wider uh, focal length when shooting these portraits 
Um, with that being said though, I did shoot a bunch on the 50, but then predominantly I shot most of these portraits on the, actually the Sigma 16 to 28. So I got some landscape shots with the 16 to 28 right off the bat when I first got there at sunrise. And then I took a bunch of portraits with it. And but so I shot a bunch between 16 and 28. So I really found that lens came in handy and it aided itself really well to this location because of how beautiful the location is and I wanted to capture a lot of it. I ended up shooting a lot of portraits at 16 so I could get the portrait, but also you can get kind of the grandeur of, um, sorry, I'm talking into the screen. I'm still getting used to that, but <laughs> you can kind of get the grandeur of the location with the model in it for scale. So I shot a lot at 16. Um, I did shoot some at with the 70 to 200. I shot a lot of detail shots with the 70 to 200. Um, surprisingly though, <laughs> I did not actually ever grab the two times teleconverter while I was out shooting. I never found myself feeling like 200 wasn't long enough for what I was shooting. And I pretty much just shot everything at around 200 millimeters and never felt like I needed to go further. So yeah, I never grabbed, if you can hear that, the microwave is beeping at me. I haven't reset the timer on that. We just got into this house. Um, you might've saw, I'm filming this out, out of order. You might've saw like a little house tour already. Um, I'm not sure. I might not even have done one, but house is pretty nice. It took us a minute to get into it today. We're all pretty tired, but here we are now. But yeah, never used the two times teleconverter. I felt like 70 mil, um, sorry, the 70 to 200 was plenty. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you think of the images. Um, I'm gonna get back to editing them. Again, I'm not sure if you've seen them now or later because videos are weird. I don't really know <laughs> at the time of filming where everything's gonna line up. So, but yeah, I'm pretty tired, but pretty pumped on these images. Like I said, when I was walking uh, down to the bend earlier, I definitely feel like after getting a few images, and things like that, it was uh, definitely worth it uh, to make the trip out. Um, the 50 though did come in handy when I was shooting the Jeep. I don't know where I've put those in this video, <laughs> but the Jeep looks great on the 50 mil. It's very editorial. I'm super pumped on the images we got of the Jeep and I haven't looked at the drone footages yet, but hopefully uh, they turned out too. All right, things are winding down around here. It is 9.27. Um, I've had a chance now to look at some of the drone footage and it turned out honestly way better than I could have imagined. Or, and I'm honestly surprised on how easy it was to get drone footage and how easy like it was to color grade. You know, I've never flown really a drone before, so it's my first time flying it and I'm super happy with how everything turned out. So that's been good. I've looked at some of the other photos and videos Everything's turning out great. So yeah, so far this trip has been a huge success. I am exhausted and very sunburned. So we are gonna go get some rest and so that we're ready to uh, drive out in the morning back to Salt Lake City. All right, it is Sunday morning. It is about 9.08. We have to be out of this house um, in about an hour. But yeah, I think everyone slept good. It was definitely good to get some sleep. Uh, I know I've been kind of lackluster on filming like, B-roll and what's been going on since like we were actually at the bend yesterday morning but it's just been a crazy day and when we got back here I was just dead to the world so <laughs> didn't do too much filming but um, yeah got my clothes in the car camera bag is packed right here next to me ready to go um, but yeah we're just kind of getting ready to get, get back on the road here let me show you where we've stayed to last night so all right, so this is where we stayed last night. Honestly, it was really nice, really clean. Definitely appreciated that. Um, I don't think this area got too much use. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure everyone kind of got here and then <laughs> headed right to bed. But yeah, this is where we stayed. Bedrooms and things are down that way. And then here's the kitchen. So yeah, it was super nice. That's where I took a photo of my laptop sitting on this counter um, to throw on Instagram. I'll put it up here if I can find it. But yeah, I think that this trip has been pretty successful. I've had a lot of fun. I'm definitely tired and sunburned, but I think that's how you know you did a trip like this right, is that if you, at the end of it, are just completely exhausted. Um, but yeah, I hope that this vlog's turning out. Um, I'm still trying to get better at this whole kind of vlog thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go finish helping everyone get ready so we can get out of here and get back on the road and I'll catch back up with you at some point along the way All right, let's set this oh, <laughs> Down right here. I'm too lazy to get the tripod out. So 
We are back. It is the next morning. It is now Monday. It is 1048 in the morning. I am incredibly sore, as you can hear from all my old man grunting as I try to sit down and finish filming this. Um, we got back uh, yesterday, maybe around 7 p.m., uh, back to town, and I was too dead to try and film the end of this video, but I'm going to do it now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I went on this really quick trip down to uh, Horseshoe Bend to get some photos and video. I hope everything turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely give it a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get more consistent with YouTube and put more and more out. So if you like what you see and you want to see more of it, subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the family. But yeah, I'm going to go get some much needed rest or more likely go edit this video because I have a problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.